I'm Stefan Cross here with Chevrolet and we're here to show the latest and greatest technology in the new 2016 Chevrolet Cruze. Something that's new on the Cruze that you haven't seen a lot of miles before is the addition of Android Auto. Android Auto was made available as a free software upgrade in March of this year and this vehicle was able to get that software upgrade so I'm going to go through and show exactly how Android Auto works now. I currently have plugged in my Samsung device into the USB port. If you plug in an Apple device, you can get Apple CarPlay. But for now, we're going to show how Android Auto works in the cruise. You'll see this icon right here is changed to Android Auto. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. What's unique about Android Auto, it has a home screen here. And the home screen incorporates a lot of your latest and greatest interactions with your phone. So right now, it knows I'm in Nashville. It's got the current temperature, the highs and lows. It has a couple of recent destinations that I may have searched or potentially suggested destinations that it wants me to go to. Um, if I play any music on here, it'll bring that up on this home screen as well. If I have a text message, it'll bring that up. Same with appointments. It's synced to my calendar, so it'll know if I have an appointment coming up today. I'm going to go to the Maps function first because that's one many people's favorite function of Android Auto. It incorporates Google Maps, which is great. Um, and Google Maps. It's got the pinch zoom, so you can zoom in and out of the city of Nashville. Um, you can always do voice search to search a destination. Um, and you can type it in when the car is in park. You can't type when the car is in drive. But for now, why don't I go to Nissan Stadium where the Tennessee Titans play. It's got the fastest route for me. It also has alternative route options that may be a little slower, but potentially um, could either save mileage or get you out of traffic. But it says telling me here this is the fastest route, and it's about seven minutes away. I'm going to dismiss that route so you can see some of the other functions of the system. If I go to the phone function here, this is where you can text um, or call people from the vehicle. Now, again, you're not going to type in text on the screen. You're going to do that through voice. Um, so if I hit the voice button here, I would say text Stefan Cross and it would bring up Stefan Cross and it will allow me to verbally text a message uh, to myself in that situation. Um, again, if you get a text message, it's going to audibly read the message back to you so you're not going to see anything on the screen. It's all meant for you to use with your hands on the, hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. Uh, and then finally, we have a number of audio apps in here. You'll see Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. Uh, I believe I have iHeartRadio playing right now, so I'm going to go through and launch that. You know, it looks very customized to the infotainment screen. It's not going to meant to distract you while you're driving. But I'm going to go in here and play ACDC from iHeartRadio, um, and it should bring up some of the latest options for ACDC type radio. And there you go. We got Thunderstruck playing here. And then, so if I go back to the home screen. It's going to incorporate that, okay, you are now going to Nissan Stadium, here's the weather, and you're listening to ACDC. And if I had a text come through, it would bring that up as well. So that's basically Android Auto in a nutshell. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention that's unique for the Cruise is with our LT and Premium models, you get two years of all the latest and greatest connectivity. So we call it our 24-7 Promise Package. And what's really great about that is for two years, and this is unrivaled anywhere else in the industry, for two years you get OnStar Guidance Plan, which is OnStar's premium service. So, you know, the crash response, the emergency assistance, the navigation, the stolen vehicle assistance, the vehicle health reports, it goes on and on. You get that free for two years. You also get the OnStar 4G LTE data. Um, 4G LTE typically comes standard for three months or three gigabytes in the vehicle. Now you get it for 24 months or 24 gigabytes in the vehicle. So that's a lot of data that you can go through that the kids in the back seat, your passengers can consume. It also comes with two years of Sirius XM. So again, Sirius typically comes free for three months in Chevy vehicles. Now you're getting it for two years for 24 months in the vehicles. So the Chevy Cruze also incorporates built-in OnStar 4G LTE. Um, what that means is it's a Wi-Fi hotspot built in for passengers, kids in the back seat to connect to. Um, this car is activated the Wi-Fi hotspot, so to get the information uh, for the hotspot, I'm going to go to OnStar right here. OnStar ready. I'm going to click Wi-Fi settings. Wi-Fi settings. Please see the owner's manual for information about your Wi-Fi hotspot settings. And that's going to show me right here that the name of this Wi-Fi hotspot is Cruise Hotspot 10, and the password I have here is Find New Roads. Um, so my phone currently here, I believe I've connected to that Wi-Fi hotspot. 
So you'll see here on the hotspot it says connected to cruise hotspot. And up to seven mobile devices can connect to the hotspot at one time and it works about 50 feet around the vehicle. So if you're parked and you're stopped, you know, at a, say a tailgate or a job site, picnic, what have you, you can still connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot even if you're outside the vehicle. And that comes uh, 24 gigabytes of data or for 24 months on the new cruise with its 24 seven promise package. It's a pretty exciting time to be a Chevy cruise owner. Um, and we hope our customers are gonna like a lot of the latest and greatest technologies. Thank <laughs> you.